Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Atom Piano Roll 2 from Victor Perov. So indeed, this uh, is a new series and when I finish this series I will also upload something to compare Atom Piano Roll 2 to uh, others like for example LK from Imaginando. Before I start, uh, I have a number of codes to give away courtesy of Victor. So if you are interested, please follow the instructions in the video description and check if winners have been notified, uh, check in the comment section. Please remember, in order to win a code, you need to be a subscriber. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. In this first video, I'm going to talk a little bit about Atom and this second version, just to give you some uh, uh, starting information. Then I go through all the next uh, videos, uh, all feature by feature, so to see how it works. So it's a new version. It's a, a new fantastic uh, modular MIDI sequencer with, uh, as you know, uh, a fantastic piano um, uh, role editor which is what made the first version very, uh, very interesting. As you can see, the interface is uh, much, much busier than before. And it has things that um, you didn't have before, like for example, here on the bottom right hand side, you click on process and it will expand uh, different selections. Yes, it's still uh, the um, piano roll that we are used to. You can click on add and add notes like so which is very easy as well. Click on select and select them. But here you can see you can you have a lot more option. Look, if you quantize, look what uh, happens on the menus which are revealed. Or if you, for example, you would like to act on moving some, you see what happens and initial selection appearing also on uh, the bottom side. Um, you have a nice menu here on the right hand side. Um, where you have also a manual, which is really interesting. You can uh, uh, do a lot with this new version. For example, you can import and export MIDI file. You can see here. You can open clip, you can share clips, you can set your own style and configuration and integrate. it integrates really, really well with um, some uh, 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 with some controllers like the launch pad, which is really, really good for clip launchers. So you have a clip launchers as well. And um, it's a MIDI recorder, as you know, so you can record uh, in uh, um, real time, which is really nice. And you can export your MIDI. And and the four with the power of uh, hosts, AUV3 hosts like uh, AUM, you can put it at the end of a chain and of course take advantage of recording what, what arrives there. You have flexible and powerful things like scales. Look at the selection here is really fantastic. You still have your layers here, which you can define. This is where it shows this clip here and you have further information on the clip here. Okay. And on the channel over here. Right, you can create patterns, of course, and, and you can superimpose the different patterns. You can duplicate them, uh, merge them, etc. So it's um, it's really, really, really interesting as um, a version two, and you can do scripting. And yet it has a very powerful sc scripted playground, which lets you customize the workflow with um, with code. So it's um, really really interesting and as you know um you if you create a new instance like so another midi processor and again you choose um, um another one like so you see this uh, says one point uh one column two and the first one says one column one so if you click on the first one now if you go to uh, layers you can see you have the different clips uh, over there um, so fantastic product and um, we are going to go through in the full details feature by features in the next video. So I hope you uh, will enjoy the next coming video and I hope you enjoyed this uh, short introduction. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.